Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to take a look at and show you how to install the Apple Pi OS on your Raspberry Pi 4. This OS is pretty much a skin version of Ubuntu Budgie and is made to look just like Mac OS X. There are also some cool pre-installed apps like PyKiss and Balena Etra. This operating system has been created by a YouTube channel named Raspberry Pi Projects and more. He also makes lots of videos about the Raspberry Pi and I'll make sure to leave a link to his channel in the description below. Anyway, before we get started, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet and enjoy the tech related content and tutorials that I create, you're welcome to subscribe. And if you found this video helpful, it would definitely make my day if you'd leave a like. And now let's get started. First of all, you'll have to download the ISO file containing the OS by clicking on the first link in the description below. This is a Google Drive file, so you'll have to sign in. Click download and download again. While it's downloading, go and install an SD card flasher, in my case the Balena Etcher flasher, by clicking on the second link in the description below, or by visiting balena.io slash etcher. Once you've downloaded and installed both, you'll have to extract the image. You can either use WinRAW or 7-Zip to do this. Now that you've done that, just open up the flash and select the ISO file as well as the microSD card that I'll be flashing it onto. Personally, I'm using a 64GB one. And click on flash. As soon as it's done flashing, remove the microSD card from your PC and plug it into your Pi. Just give it some time to boot. As you can see, this operating system for the Raspberry Pi 4 looks just like Mac OS X. Most apps have custom icons and the finder is, at least in my opinion, pretty much identical to the real one. The menu bar at the bottom also looks absolutely amazing and even has a cool animation when hovering over it. Like I mentioned earlier, this OS is pretty much a skin version of 64-bit Ubuntu with a desktopify optimization and some cool apps and programs. The Firefox browser also has hardware video acceleration, making video playback and simple scrolling on websites a lot quicker. Unfortunately, there's no Widevine DRM built in and no Chromium Media web browser, so you won't be able to watch any Netflix on this OS. Nevertheless, there are also a couple of cool apps available like PyKiss, Co the Dolphin Emulator, a few games, and the Balenetra Flasher. Overall, I'm just loving the look of it. It's great to have an Ubuntu-based OS for the Raspberry Pi 4 that looks and feels just like Mac OS, and the detail that went into it is just incredible. I mean, come on, there's even an app store. And like I said in the beginning of this video, if you want to find out more about the Apple Pi OS, just visit the YouTube channel, Raspberry Pi Projects and more. But other than that, that will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and liked the OS. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like, and if you want to see straight to the point tech related videos and tutorials just like this in the future, you're welcome to subscribe. See you in the next one.